Oh man, your Aloha shirt, some out of date, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this whole video inside Pigeon English. I don't know why this cause, because YouTube, why? Why not? Okay, so, uh, but I'm gonna use the kind Pigeon English, the English kind Pigeon English, like the Holy kind Pigeon English, the Oahu kind Pigeon English, not the Maui kind Pigeon English, because I would speak Maui kind Pigeon English, you guys no could understand me, because, see, the Pigeon English is the most choice language, right? It's, it's the language with, we get Chinese, right, Pake, and Flip, and Howley, and Kanak, and every kind of the words that, that come from everybody, right? Like Japanese, everybody, right? Everybody, uh, they put all the language, Portuguese, right? Freaking even Barinkis, right? Which is the people came from, all the way from the kind of Puerto Rico. Uh, they put them all together, we make one language for everybody can understand everybody else inside the field. That's like, like, like if you guys play D&D, &D, that's like a kind of common tongue, right? <laughs> so everybody can understand them. But see, if I would use that kind, then we would need to put translation underneath here because you guys no could understand nothing. And bad enough already. I bet you guys half half of the time, if if I if I go in with pigeon, you guys gonna you guys gonna get difficult time for understand what I'm saying. I had one friend come to my house one time. <laughs> I was talking to my Portuguese neighbors, right? And we was out there like easy, fifteen minutes drinking beers, or maybe even what half an hour drinking beers like that. And after we was part, he was like, um, you guys were speaking English? What language was that? And it was like, Pigeon English? Why? And that's the only language. See, some people, that's the only language they know. And see, you look like this and you talk like this. Nobody going to take you serious, right? And I get people telling me, oh, you got to cut your hair. They're going to take you serious. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, you don't even know the difference between then and then. Where the A and the E. I'm not going to be taking freaking fashion advice and personal hygiene advice from one guy that don't know the difference between then and then. Anyway. Freaking guys, I tell you, YouTube, you meet any kind of people. So actually, that's the double-edged double sword, right? Because it's fun. You, you meet any kind of people on YouTube, I tell you what. Anyway, so I'm going to try to cover six points. <laughs> and no can, because if can, can. If no can, no can. I'm pretty sure no can, because break us. that's less than two minutes, one. Anyway, so Rand. Okay, you guys gonna tell me. See, I put my glasses on. I look intellect, eh? So now, now you guys going to take me more serious, eh? All right, put my glasses on. I look good, eh? Okay. But if I don't put my glasses on, look, I get the, I get my notes written on the back of this pukalani soup, uh, puk soup, right? Pukalani soup red, uh, recipient, receipt from the kind, pukalani soup red. Anyway, it's a free plug for pukalani soup red. Go over there, it's an easy does it place. Anyway, uh, Rand, okay, you're telling me that you don't think that, that Rand Paul got a death threat, yeah? Because everything is so up and up in American politics and that kind of stuff never happens. You are a dreamer, not me. Okay. Because I'm telling you what, this, it wouldn't be the first time, not going to be the last time, right? How much times guys just drop dead, or the plane crash, or the car accident, or the whatever, right? Or a lone gunman. You're telling me that you don't think the guy got a death threat? Okay, maybe not. But see, the thing was too over the top. He was on top Hannity. On Hannity. Hannity is not a friend of Ron Paul. Hannity is not a friend to the liberty movement. Hannity is a Fox News, you know, that's the kind of guy he is. And he, for him come out on the show and then say, oh, we get plenty in common with Romney. We, want not, we don't want nothing in common with Romney. Not a damn thing. Name one thing we get in common with Romney. And when it comes to the war, when it comes to the drug war, hemp, anything, anything we get in common with this guy. Nothing. And on top of that, if, if maybe one day we, we, stay, we stay in common with him something and the next day he going to change. Right? So don't give me that. i thinking that he got on that threat. And maybe, and if not, Right? If not, then fuck him. Even more fuck him. Because I tell you what, that, that's a deal with the devil right there. And you don't make a deal with the devil. But I understand when he's saying, okay, I got to do this and that because I like become president. And maybe in four years he's going to run and you know, he get a chance and, and so forth. But I tell you what, that, that's, a, that's the wrong guy to make a deal with right there. And you're going to see that, that Ron Paul, his father, not going to make a, not gonna make a what you call it, endorsement. Right? Endorsement of uh, Romney. Okay. Now the thing... Ron Paul, he don't want nothing to lose, right? He's not coming back. He's not going back to Congress. So if he, so it's different. Ron Rand, the son, he get, uh, he get, he gotta play ball a little bit more. Okay, okay, I give him that. But and I gonna tell you after saying all that, right? Okay, he, if we had hundred guys like him, in a in a Senate and three hundred guys like him in in Congress, then you know what? We would probably have hemp. We would probably have, right, I mean, he would make all kind of, the ending the Fed and all kind of stuff, right? And on and on and on. If we had 100 guys like him and 300 guys more in the, in the freaking uh, House of Representatives, right, everything would be, would be pretty good. Okay, well, we don't have 100 guys like him, right? We get one guy like him. 
So we got to get 99 more. And then we got to get 300 more in the, in the freaking uh, Congress. So we get plenty of work for do. Whether we win this thing or not, just because he comes on, on top of Fox News and, and talking shit, then, you know, too bad. Right? You guys no can quit. Okay. So the uh, Republican National Convention. Okay, plenty of guys saying, okay, no make difference. We're going to Republican National Convention. They're going to be just like they did all the other conventions. They can edit the story and cut them up how they like so that the story tells the story the way they like to tell the story. Okay, well, here's the difference, guys. We get, we get, uh, that's true. That's true, right? Because all them guys just bull eye <laughs> all the time. Okay. And, and they look right in the camera and they bull eye all the time. He's like, oh, la, 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 right? oh, 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 just, oh, look, it was a lone gunman. Oh, look, oh, right? Oh, look. Uh, uh, anyway. So, you're right, but the idea is that if we get the guys over there at the National Convention, right, the Republican National Convention, we'll get REST TV and Chinese TV and RT TV and freaking you name it, all them guys going to be there. Now, so they can tell the whole story, and if the guys try to cut them up or they try to lie or they try to cut the story so that, so that, you know, you're not getting the truth, then we can shame them on the internet, bro. We can take everybody, bring their camera down to the Republican National Convention, and you know, like how when uh, they try to make Ron Paul like he just oh this interview's over and I going right that's how they ma try to make it look like oh they caught they, they caught him they caught him on being a racist okay but then when we show the whole video right when they get the whole video turns out that's not that's not what happened they just went edit it for they can look like that okay well that's the same thing you guys gotta do when we go to, to down to the convention like that you guys gotta have your cameras ready and then you be rolling the camera same time the other guys rolling the camera so everybody can see the whole story right so they don't just get the edit that's why you get the internet. Yeah, so you can tell them the truth. And if they don't tell the truth, we shame them with the truth. Simple as that. It's different now, right? This kind this is not this is not tough kind of stuff for, for figure out, right? You guys just gotta go down there and be bold and this thing is not done. Okay. So and this is the other thing. Okay, so if you never receive a death threat, and see that's the other thing. If you're talking pigeon, you gotta freaking use your hands. I mean you can you cannot anyway, that's any portuguese, right? You gotta use hands. So uh if we go in the kind of and see I put my glasses on. I look into that. I know. So I, I should put my glasses on more. But more worse, I think, is with the glasses. Anyway, okay. Oh, okay. So point three, guns. Everybody get guns. Okay, that's a difference. Okay. In uh, the United States, the Second Amendment is guns. Okay. So unlike any place else, we get more guns than any place else. Okay. Now, I think they know for sure. That if if would be the kind where they where, where they would you know, market these buggers, they they would have kill they would they would suicide these guys, they, that uh, we wouldn't just stand there, right? Okay, so what is that song Bob Marley is? Uh, How long will they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? I think this time we now just go stand aside. I think this time it would get hot right after that. Okay, and they know that and they're not ready for that. Um, but they would like that. They would like it if we would go to kind of uh, civil war and, and they could make all kind of crazy and we could fight with each other. They would love that. Make no mistake. So that's why you got to keep it peaceful and you got to, right? Okay. Now, I'm not saying like how some of these guys before was, was like, see, because somebody said, oh, wow, you guys, you will say the same thing too. We got to behave ourselves. Yes, you got to behave yourselves. Okay. But I'm not saying that without saying that, uh, oh, you, you know, you have been, uh, unjustly uh, accused of starting stuff because most times like 99.9% .9 of the time wasn't the Ron Paul guys when start nothing it was the other guys when start them right and see that's again you got to have the cameras and the videotape so when they stay on the top of the news saying that the Ron Paul guys is the one who raised the ruckus turns out was the other guys when raised the ruckus first right so if you guys if you guys over there with your video cameras they cannot they cannot get away with it and that's why they would make a death threat against Ron Paul or Rand Paul I think so not Rand not, not Ron see this, now it's getting confusing because the two guys stop it off but anyway the son the son that's why they would make a, a death threat against him because uh, it was was getting too embarrassing already right now this one in Ohio has the right Romney he not can't even put thousand guys in one room and and thirty guys we go disrupt the 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 rally and so supposed to be a rally right it was 30 guys 30 guys would show up to a fucking ron paul rally what part of my language what nobody would even notice 30 guys Eight thousand guys you would just shove them guys aside nothing else you wouldn't even hear them right when in fact if you look at the the, the videotape with the rally guys with the rallies from ron paul it's so much guys half of the time you know can't even talk because the guy's cheering and making noise right but see it's it's a it's a it's a ruckus but it's a respectful ruckus, right? Because when he starts talking, it pretty soon the crowd quiet down again and he can talk and then he says something and the crowd goes crazy again, right? Okay, it's going to be the same thing in, in uh, 
in uh, Tampa is is you guys got to be respectful, but you raise a ruckus, right? You guys you guys make sure you get your platform and the, the right and nominate. We're gonna nominate this guy, and as I think you guys are the ones dreaming if you're thinking that we're not gonna nominate this guy, because you know what? he won enough states that he can be nominated. Um, but see, this is the thing, right? It's it's gonna be a hot mess. This thing is not over, and we gotta be okay, just like football. Right? Fourth quarter team. In the fourth quarter, you got to throw the four. We stay in the fourth quarter just about, and we, we got to throw the four touchdown passes. Right? Ask, ask the guy. What's his name? Joe Montana. Or what is that? I want Testa Verde. Right? What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, Jets and Dolphins. Right? Fourth quarter come back. That's how us got to be. We got to be. Even with Rand Paul, we had the momentum going, and then Rand Paul, everything crashed. Right? Okay. Well, you got to pick yourself back up and go. Because, you know what? We, this thing, not pop. Not over. This thing is not over, right? Pow means over. Okay, because we got the kind. We got plenty more work for do. And even if we don't prevail in in Tampa, right? We still get plenty more for do. We get. We gotta go take the local level. We gotta take the state level. We gotta. Like I said, we need hundred guys like Rand. We need three hundred more guys like Rand in the, in the House of Representatives. That's what we gotta do. Because even if you get somebody like Gary Johnson or, or Ron Paul in the presidency, we get all this out of scumbag, scum-sucking, politician-type guys, right? Bulaia and freaking, you know, <laughs> KK Kaumanua kind guys that they, they that's, who the, that's who is controlling this Congress right now. So we got to replace them guys. And we got to replace them guys from the top down and from the, from the bottom up, all of them. So we get them all the way through, right? We're coming from both sides, right? You know, on scissor-type motion, where we're taking over the, the freaking Congress at the federal level and at the local level, and we take back the country. Okay, so even if, even if see, and this is how stupid the, the sheep now is. Like, they, could, they would probably tell this story on the news <laughs> about them committing suicide, and you guys would believe it. It was a double suicide. Rand Paul and Ron Paul both committed suicide on the same day. Uh, and people would be like, really? That's amazing. I can't believe that would happen. And they were doing so well. And people were like, okay, well now, well now what are we going to do? I don't know. But I mean, that's how, that's how it is, right? They can tell the most outrageous lies and the a, and a, and a sheep just buy it, just lap it up. But see, even now, there's no way you can say this thing is over. In, in freaking Iowa, what happened? 21 out of 25. Now see, this other thing. Even in Iowa, you go watch this, this, this thing I went linked down there. The, out of everybody, right? Twenty-one out of twenty-five guys for Ron Paul. What? The one guy who they interview, they interview the one guy that's that's not that's for Romney, right? Only had four guys for Romney, and one of them is the one they interview. How's that? If what if it was all the way around? What if it was Ron Paul was you know only one four, and the and the twenty-one guys was was for Romney? I guarantee you, you wouldn't hear dick about Ron Paul or, or what a Ron Paul guy had to say. They, they would say nothing, right? These guys. I mean, and, and even worse than that, their mouth is full of kuka, and they no can say nothing, right? They cannot say anything about vote fraud and how, because everybody I know in, in Illinois, they was thinking he win this thing by a landslide, right? And then what? They cut him up three ways. And then they try to say, oh, Ron Paul, came, or Ron Paul came in third place. Well, he came in third place by like five votes, if you even can believe that. Because everybody said it was like 66% was for Ron Paul. And what they do is they went cut him up, right? They talk about that? No. They're going to talk about death threats? No. They're going to tell you the truth? No. You know they're not telling you the truth. Okay, in, in Virginia, what just happened? We just had 21 out of 49 go for Ron Paul. And they say 25 out of 49 because four of those guys is the kind, stealth kind uh, Ron Paul guy. Is that a sneaky buggers that they, they think, they, right? Get plenty sneaky buggers. And I tell you what, a lot of them sneaky buggers going to stand up at the Republican National Convention and Romney going to be getting some surprises. Okay. Just because he came out on, on Fox News, nothing will change, right? Nothing. We get plenty of work for do. You guys get plenty of stuff for do. So get out there and go working, right? We get it. We got initiatives where you can go take back the, the ballots to paper ballots instead of the voting machines. Because you're thinking this machines is fair. You're crazy, right? I don't understand how you guys can even think for one minute they wouldn't rig these machines. What did that guy say? You had everybody for freaking decades. How much guy? Stalin, what did he say? I don't care who voting, right? Who I, I don't want counting the votes. I don't care who vote. As long as I get for count of votes, I don't care. That's what the Republicans do. Okay? Who owns these voting machines? Republicans. And who owns the Republicans? Bankers. So if they like one Democrat in, they can rig the machine for the Democrats, make them happy a little bit, right? And then if, you, if, they, if they like the Republican go, then they, they rig the machine for the, for the Republican. But for damn sure, they're not going to rig the machine for Ron Paul. So what the hell are you guys thinking? You got to go back paper ballots, right? Hand count. 
right? Old fashioned. I know it sounds crazy, right? But that's, the, that's just how it is, right? Freaking guys in China and India, all them guys can do it. In the United States, we got to do it, do it too. They call them self governance. That's when you go down and you don't just go home and turn on the TV. You go and hang around and you be either a vote watcher or a vote counter. And it takes time, right? But you can count them by hand and you can verify this is the votes, this is the ballots. Right, the the the, mach the receipts from the machines that they give you, they you they can print anything on top of this, right? It's just one piece of paper. You need all the pala pala, right? You need all of it if you gonna get a, a, a fair election. Anyway, we get plenty for do and 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 get out there and vote for Ron Paul, right? Ron Paul, two thousand and twelve.